Hello dear yogis and welcome to today's class. Today we're going to work the strength of our back by contracting the muscles of the back of our body with back bends. So we're going to start with our joint rotations. Lie all the way down on your back, release your whole body down to the floor, your left leg down, bend your right knee, grab the back of your leg with your hands and rotate your elbow to one side. the opposite direction. Now make circles with your knee and notice how your hip is helping your knee with this movement. It's a very unnatural movement for your knee joint. opposite direction. Straighten your leg and hinge from your knee, bring your foot up and down. Release your hands, strain your leg and make smooth circles with your hips. If you were drawing circles with your thumb on the ceiling. Bend your knee and make the circles bigger. And bigger. And make the circles as big as you can. Still the big circles, but in the opposite direction. And make the circle smaller. And smaller. And smaller. Now strain your leg, put in your abdomen and gently lower your leg down to the ground. Bend your left knee, grab the back of your leg with your hands and rotate your ankle. And the opposite direction. Make circles with your knee. And the opposite direction. And down in a more organic and natural way of movement of your hip joints, of your knee joints. Release your hands, straighten your leg, and make smooth circles with your hip. Bend your knee and make the circles bigger. And bigger. And bigger. At the opposite direction. Make the circles smaller and 
smaller. And smaller. Spreading your leg, pulling your abdomen and gently lower your leg down to the ground. Now we're going to move our back, extend your arms to the sides, bend your knees, place your feet on the ground close to your body. Inhale. As you exhale, drop your knees to the right, look over your left shoulder. Inhale, bring your legs up. Exhale, drop your knees to the left. Inhale up. Exhale, drop your knees to the right. Inhale up. And exhale, drop your knees to the left. Look over your right shoulder and inhale up. Open your legs so that your feet are mat width apart. Inhale. As you exhale, drop your knees to the right. Look over your left shoulder. Inhale, bring your legs up. Exhale, drop your knees to the left. Inhale, up. Exhale, drop your knees to the right. Inhale, up. And exhale, drop your knees to the left. Look over your right shoulder and inhale, up. Leave your arms on the ground, bring your knees into your chest, inhale. As you exhale, drop your knees to the right, look over your left shoulder. Inhale, bring your legs up. Exhale, drop your knees to the left. Inhale, up. Exhale, drop your knees to the right. Inhale, up. Exhale, drop your knees to the left. Look over your right shoulder and inhale up. Now cross your ankles, grab your big toes and drop to sitting or roll onto your right side and sit up. Find a comfortable sitting pose, your back as straight as you can. Bring your hands to your shoulders and make circles with your shoulders. Squeeze your shoulder blades behind, bring your elbows close together up. And the opposite direction. Bring your arms in front of you and bring your hands back and forth. Open your arms and to make circles with your elbows. At the opposite direction. Bring your arms in front of you and rotate your wrists. And the opposite direction. Interlace your fingers and stretch forward. Bring your hands up towards the ceiling.
and release. Bring your chin to your right shoulder. And left. And right. And left. Come back to center. Bring your right ear to your right shoulder. Come back to center, close your eyes, and remember to honor and respect your body during the yoga class. Open your eyes and bring your left hand to your right knee, your right hand behind you, and twist to the right. Bring your chin toward your shoulder so your neck is twisting with your spine. Come back to center and change sides. And come back to center and now come on to all fours. Make sure that your wrists are under your shoulders, your knees are under your hips. And then round your back, tucking your belly, look down towards your belly button, cat pose. Drop your belly, arch your back and look up. Round your back, tucking your belly, look down. Inhale as you drop your belly and look up. Exhale, round your back, tucking your belly. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and we're going to do it one last time. Drop your belly, look up, inhale, and now exhale into a nice neutral spine. Bring your right arm in front of you and your left leg back. Put your hand on your foot in opposite directions and square your hips. Now you can choose to stay here, but if you want an extra challenge, bend your left knee, get hold of your foot with your right hand and press your foot against your hand and lift. Lift your left knee as much as you can so you squeeze your back. And release. Come back onto all fours. Let's change sides. Bring your left arm in front, your right leg back. Feel long from your fingertips to your toes. And if you want to bend your right knee, get hold of your foot with your left hand and press your foot against your hand and lift. And release. Drop your left hand and knee down to the ground. And now we're going to get into child's pose. Sit back on your feet. Drop your forehead down to the ground. Lengthen your spine as much as you can. Your hips down towards your feet. Now have a look at your hands and scoop your body down to the floor, forward and down. Now bring your arms in front of you and lift your right arm and your left leg up as much as you can. Breathe. And release. Let's change sides. Bring your left arm and your right leg up. And 
relax, release. Bring your hands under your shoulders, come on to all fours, and sit back on your feet. Child's pose. Now have a look at your hands and scoop your body down to the floor again. Bring your arms beside your body and leave your hands on your feet on the ground and just lift your chest into a sweet, gentle back bend. And release. Bring your hands under your shoulders, come on to all fours and sit back on your feet. Child's pose. And release. Have a look at your hands and scoop your body down to the ground. This time we're going to get into locust pose. Bring your arms beside your body and lift your legs, lift your chest and reach back with your hands. Locust. Breathe. And release. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Come on to all fours. Sit back in child's pose. So as you can see, we're moving from the back bend to the forward bend. In the back bend, we squeeze and contract the muscles of our back building strength. In the forward bend, we stretch our back building flexibility. That way we've got a back that's strong and flexible at the same time. Have a look at our hands and scoop your body down to the ground. Again, we're going to get into locust once more. Your arms beside your body, left it up. And now this time, open your arms to the sides. Breathe. Bring your arms in front of you, lift it up. Open your arms to the sides. Bring your arms back into the original pose. And release. Bring your hands on your shoulders, come on to all fours. Sit back on your feet, child's pose. So the deeper the back bend is, the better the forward bend feels. Enjoy this stretch in your spine. And have a look at your hands, scoop your body down. And now, this time, bring your right arm in front of you. Bend your left knee, get hold of your left foot or ankle with your left hand, and lift everything up off the ground. In this pose, half your body is in locust, half your body is in ball pose. And release, let's change sides. Bring your left arm in front, bend your right knee, get hold of your foot or your ankle, and lift it up.
and release. Bring your hands on, bring your shoulders, come on to all fours. Child's pose. And release. Have a look at your hands and scoop your body down to the floor. We're going to get into one last locust. Bring your arms beside your body, lift it up. Now, you could choose to stay in locust, but if you want an extra challenge and a deeper back bend, bend both knees. Get hold of your feet or, or your ankles and press your foot against your, your feet against your hands and lift into both poses. Breathe. Make sure that your knees do not collapse to the sides. Bring your knees in line with your hips. And the idea is to have as little of your body in touch with the ground. And release. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Come on to all fours and sit back on your feet. Child's pose. And have a look at your hands and scoop your body down to the floor again. This time we're gonna get into Cobra. So bring your hands under your shoulders, hug your elbows into your ribs, and feel your heart off the floor all the way up into cobra. Drop your shoulders away from your ears, hug your elbows in, and breathe. And come on to all fours. Sit back on your feet, child's pose. And this time, have a look at your hands and scoop your body all the way into cobra, forward and up. Now, this, if you want to, you can get all the way into upward dog, in which case, straighten your ass, straighten your legs, you're pressing through your feet, and allow your hips to come further down towards the floor, deepening that back bend. In this case, your hips are off the ground, upward dog. It's a deeper back bend, so it's a choice. And release, come on to all fours and sit back on your feet. Child's pose. And have a look at your hands and scoop your body through to cobra forward and up. You can take it all the way into upward dog if you want. And back into child's pose. We're going to breathe and move between the two movements. So inhale into cobra. Exhale back into child's pose. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale, and we're going to do it one last time. Inhale, fold into cobra. And exhale. 
exhale back into child's pose. Drop your forehead completely down, your hips down. And if you want to bring your hands beside your feet and drop your shoulders. Maybe wiggle your fingers or make a fist and release. So you release all tension from your hands, your wrists, your arms and even your shoulders. And bring your arms in front of you, come on to all fours. We're going to warm up our downward dog, walk your hands slightly forward, tuck your toes under, keep your legs bent, lift your knees off the ground. Bring your chest towards your thighs, your back nice and long, and then straighten one leg at a time. Until you feel ready to straighten both legs at the same time in downward dog. Come onto your toes and lower your hips into plank pose. Push your heels back, feel strong. Push the floor away from your hands and make sure that your wrists are right under your shoulders. You protect your joints. Hug your elbows into your ribs, lower your body. Inhale into upward dog. And this time exhale into downward dog. Have a look at your hands and step or walk your feet forward and slowly uncurl your back all the way up. Roll your shoulders back and down and three release. Now make sure that you're at the top of your mat so your mat should be behind you and lift your toes. Engage your knees and your thighs. Keep them tight. Bring your toes down to the floor. Try to spread them. Engage your core. Drop your tailbone, tilt your pelvis, your belly button moving back towards your spine. Lift and engage your pelvic floor, Mula Banda. Roll your shoulders back and down. Point your fingers and tuck your chin in slightly so your neck is long. This is Tadasana or mountain pose, the correct way of standing, not just, not just in yoga. And now inhale as you grab a big circle of sunshine. And as you exhale, fold forward, get hold of your elbows, drop your head and breathe. At release, drop your hands, bend your knees, step your right leg back, lunge. Sink into the lunge, look forward, shift away to your right hand and bring your left arm up towards the ceiling and if possible, look up towards your left hand. Try to stack your left arm right on top of the right hand to pull your hands in opposite directions. And release. Drop your left hand down, step your left foot back, plank pose. Hug your elbows into your ribs, lower your body, inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Now shift away to your left leg and extend your right leg up towards the ceiling as far as it will go into a three-legged dog. Bend your knee and swing your leg through. Bring your foot to the outside of your right hand. Do it in a couple of step, steps if you need to, so your, your foot is right under your knee and you protect your joints. Drop your left knee, flatten your foot, and find your balance as you slowly come all the way up. Now bring your hands to your lower back and push your hips forward. Now bring your arms in front of you, hook your thumbs. Bring your arms up towards the ceiling and back as much as you can. And look, this might be enough for you, but maybe if you want to, drop your arms down to or towards the floor. At release, 
Drop your hands back down to the floor. Tap your left toes under and step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Adjust your feet as much as you need to so you can drop your hips. Bring your hands together with the help of your elbows. Open your knees wide. without the help of your hands, come all the way up and release and just, just stand at the top of your mat. Ground your feet in the dasana. Inhale as you reach up and as you exhale, fold forward. Now you can grab your elbows or your big toes, your choice. Drop the crown of your head towards the floor and breathe. And release. Drop your hands, bend your knees, step your left leg back. Lunge. Sink into a lunge, look forward, shift your weight to your left hand and bring your right arm up towards the ceiling and if possible, look up towards your right hand. Lift your left hip up so your left hip is not collapsing to the side. Straighten your left leg, push your heel back and lift. And release. Drop your right hand down to the floor. Step your right foot back, plank pose. Hug your elbows in. Lower your body. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Now shift your weight to your right leg. Extend your left leg up towards the ceiling. Bend your knee and swing it through. Bring your foot all the way to the outside of your left hand. Drop your hips. And now drop your right knee down, flatten your foot, and find your balance, come all the way up. Bring your hands to your lower back, push your hips forward, and bring your hands in front of you, hook your thumbs. Bring your arms up towards the ceiling and gently back. And maybe, if you want to deepen that stretch, drop your hands down to or towards the floor. You don't need to drop your head back, you can keep it. You can keep looking forward. And release. Drop your hands back down to the floor. Tuck your right toes on and step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Drop your hips, adjust your feet. If you need to bring your hands together with the help of your elbows, Open your knees wide and straight on your back. And without the help of your hands, come all the way up and adjust your stand at the top of your mat. We're going to balance. So shift your weight to your left leg, bend your right knee, bring it up. With your right hand, get hold of your foot or your ankle. Bring your left arm up and in chin mudra if you want, so your index finger and your thumb are in touch. And then press your foot against your hand and lift into the dancer. Lift your right knee as much as you can to get a back bend. Release your left arm down and slowly bring your right knee through and into your chest. Get hold of your knee with both hands, bring it in, find your balance again. And release. Bend your left knee, drop your hands, step your right leg back. Lunge. Sink into a lunge, look forward, find your balance and inhale as you reach up with both arms. Exhale, put your hands together, bring them in front of your heart and sink. Bring your right elbow to the outside of your left knee and use this as leverage to twist to the left. Bring your hands in front of your heart. Inhale as you reach up. 
Exhale, drop your hands, step your foot back, plank pose. Hug your elbows in, love your body, inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. And now, drop your knees, flatten your feet, and walk your hands back until you're kneeling up. Bring your hands to your lower back and push your hips forward and lean back. There's your back bend. So the stretch in the front, the squeeze in the back. You can keep looking forward or maybe if you want to, let your hair drop back. Out, release, to release. Let's look forward. Bring your hands in front of you. Open your knees wide. Bring your toes to touch behind and sit back on your feet. Child's pose. Drop your forehead down to or towards the floor. Your hips there. And release. Find your way back into all fours. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips, stand the dog. And have a look at your hands and step or jump your feet forward. Come on to your fingertips, inhale, halfway left. Exhale as you bow. Inhale as you stand up. And exhale, bring your hands in front of your heart. Shift away to your right leg. Bend your left knee, bring it up, and get hold of your left foot or ankle with your left hand. Your right arm up, chi mudra if you want, and press your foot against your hand and lift. Dance. And release. Drop your right arm down to the floor, bring your left knee through and into your chest. Get hold of your knee with both hands, bring it in. And release. Bend your right knee, step your left leg back. Lunge. Sink into a lunge, look forward, find your balance, and inhale as you reach up. Exhale, put your hands together, bring your knee to your in front of your heart. Sink, bring your left elbow to the outside of your right knee and twist to the right. Press your right hand firmly down into the left one, so your right elbow, elbow is pointing up, your left elbow pressing firmly into your knee. And release, bring your hands in front of your heart, inhale as you reach up, exhale, drop your hands down to the floor, step your right foot back, plank pose. Hug your elbows into your ribs, lower your body, inhale, upward dog. And exhale, downward dog. And now drop your knees. For this time, keep your toes tucked under, walk your hands back up so you're kneeling up. And you can either do what we did last time, or this time you can reach for your heels. So with your toes tucked under, you might be able to reach your heels. However, if your hips are collapsing, there is no back bend happening. So keep pushing your hips forward as you reach with your heels. Now, if you think you can, flatten your feet. You can keep looking forward, but if you do not have any neck issues and you want to, let your head drop back into the full candle pose. And to release, first look forward, release one arm at a time. Drop your hands down to the ground, open your knees wider, sit back on your feet. Child's pose. It feels great to counterpose those strong back bends.
act really. Find your way back into all fours. Top your toes under, lift your hips, down the dog. And this time we're gonna go down to the floor. So have a look at our hands and step or jump your feet into a seated pose. Okay, let's get into bridge pose. With the help of your arms, release your whole body down to the ground. Bring your feet in close to your body and hip width apart. Have your arms beside your body and press through your feet. As you peel your back off the floor, lift your hips up towards the ceiling bridge. When you've gone as far as you can, if you want to interlace your fingers, tuck your shoulders under, lift your hips. There it is, the components of a good back bend. Notice the stretch in the front of your body, the squeeze in the back. The back is building strength, the front is building flexibility. Act really ease. Very slowly, one vertebra at a time, release your back down to the ground. Bring your knees into your chest and with your arms, give your knees a nice, good hug in. Maybe give your back a bit of a massage. Some circles or back to front, whatever feels good for your back at this moment. And release. Drop your feet back down to the floor, close to your body and hip with a back to your arms beside your body. We're gonna lift a second bridge. Press through your feet and lift it up. Adjust your hands and your shoulders if you want to. And now this time you can choose to stay here, but for an extra challenge, shift towards your left leg and extend your right leg up towards the ceiling. Now this is no excuse to drop your hips. Lift that bridge. Act really, drop your right foot down, lift your hips, and let's change sides. Shift your weight to your right leg and extend your left leg up towards the ceiling. Lift your bridge. Release your left foot down, lift your bridge. Act release, release your hands and your shoulders very slowly, one vertebra at a time. Release your back down to the ground. Now bring your knees into your chest, keeping your legs bent, bring the soles of your feet to face up. Open your knees wide and with your hands grab the inside of your feet and drop your knees down towards the floor. And once more, if you want to give your back a bit of a massage and rock from side to side. Come back to center and release. Drop your feet back down to the floor, close to your body and hip with a pat. We're going to do one third and last back bend. Now this time you can get into bridge pose or you can try the wheel, which is a more advanced and deep back bend. So if you're not going to try, go ahead, get into bridge pose. Otherwise, bring your hands down to the floor, close to your ears with your fingers pointing in towards your shoulders, your elbows pointing up. Press through your hands on your feet and bring the crown of your head to the floor. Adjust your hands if you need to. And this might be it, but if you want to for the full pose, straighten your arms, lift your head off the ground. And wherever you're at, take your time as you slowly Come out of the pose. Take your time. No sudden movements in yoga. In fact, no sudden movements in life. Once your back is completely down on the ground, bring the soles of your feet to face each other. Bring them close to your body and let your knees drop to the sides. 
Bring your right hand to your chest and bring your left hand to your belly. Close your eyes and breathe deep into your belly. So you're moving your left hand with your breath. Notice the rhythm of your heart and your right hand, the rhythm of your breath and your left hand. And now open your eyes and drop your left leg completely down to the ground. Extend your right arm to the side with your left hand. Bring your right knee all the way across the line of your body to the left. Look over your right shoulder. And release, roll all the way onto your back, release your right leg down. Extend your left arm to the side, bend your left knee. With your right hand, bring your left knee all the way to the right. And look over your left shoulder. And release, roll all the way onto your back, bring your knees into your chest. And you can either cross your ankles, grab your big toes and rock to sitting or roll onto your right side and sit up. Find a comfortable sitting pose, have your back as straight as you can, bring your hands together, close your eyes. Bring your thumbs to touch your third eye lightly for clear thought. to your lips for true speech. And to your heart for compassion. Namaste. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow.